Micah, or Rich. Rich, you got yeah. any questions? Or? Yeah, sure. I can start it off. This is flattering. This big yeah. crowd. We'll start yeah. off with Rich. Makes me feel think, important. Uh, I think the Zoom connection is not working, so we'll just leave this open for questions for uh, Rich today. Rich, go ahead. Yeah, you said in the last post game that with the turnovers you were having, uh, you weren't getting the ball out cleanly. So what did you see on the tape and what are the keys for the Sacramento game? Yeah, we did not do a good job of uh, creating angles for Steph uh, to get the ball out of the traps. And we, had, we did a great job in L.A. two nights earlier. Um, and, uh, you know, you, that was the reason we had such a good second half with very few turnovers. Steph was getting the ball out cleanly, and then it was four on three. And, uh, I did not think our execution was great in that regard. Uh, some of it was Clippers' defense uh, was, was really sharp. They did some good things, but uh, we've got we've to make sure we give Steph clean uh, looks to, to get the ball out of traps. All right, I'm just going to keep going if I'm the only one here. Yeah, no, you, we, yeah, oh, okay, good. Go ahead and ask what you need to ask. Oh, um, uh, can I think you say Zoom might be working out? Yeah, go, yeah. go ahead, Anthony. Zoom is working. Go ahead, Anthony. Yeah, uh, Iguodala is questionable tomorrow. Is that, was it yeah. In my heart? yeah, he sat out practice today, so we'll just call him questionable for tomorrow. Okay, um, I want to ask you, Damian Mitchell was obviously a guy that uh, you guys, and he was you know, within the prospects that you were looking at at 7 and 14. What did you think about him in the pre draft process? And as you watched the Kings, what have you thought about some of the defensive work he's done in this first two games? Yeah, he had a lot of fans in our, our building, just his competitive desire, his uh, on-ball defense. Uh, he's, uh, he just seems like a, like a winner. I've talked to Luke about him. Luke loves him. I think uh, you know, there, it seems like a really good fit for them. Uh, and uh, yeah, I watched him a little bit in the preseason. I haven't watched last night's game yet. I'll watch that uh, today on the bus. But uh, yeah, he's a very good player. and. Uh, you know, kind of, kind of guy. I, I, I always admire just anybody who's that tenacious defensively. You have to respect. Anybody else on Zoom? Has somebody's hands up. Um, uh, Steve, I know you haven't gotten a chance to play him yet, but what are your early thoughts of Dalton as on the two-way? Yeah, I've hardly seen him. Um, you know, I haven't seen any film on him, but I've seen him now in practice a couple of days. Uh, very skilled, very versatile. Um, you know, handles the ball, passes it. Uh, you know, um, got got good size for a point guard, good good length. So, a uh, very intriguing prospect. I know our front office is very high on him, and uh, so I'm I'm really interested to see him play. Right, let's go to uh, let's go to Kareth. Hey, I was wondering if you saw Clay Thompson walking around in the '77 jersey. I did. I didn't know what it meant at first, and then uh, somebody explained it. I thought uh, that was quite, quite funny. <laughs> he was ticked off that he wasn't part of the top seventy-five. But what do you think about his ability to have sense of humor about it now? Uh, well, you have to have humor with everything, and uh, his teammates obviously got that done uh, to uh, to have a laugh with him. But uh, you know, I think all these guys—they're uh, so competitive by nature. They wouldn't have made it this far if they weren't really competitive. And at some point, guys, um, you know, latch on to things to, to drive them. You know, Clay's accomplished pretty much everything. You know, he's a multi-time champion, multi-time all-star, one of the great three-point shooters ever. Um, you know, he's already competitive, but, um, you know, if that's what it takes to make him more competitive, then uh, we'll, uh, we'll take it. Do you know who was the brains behind the 77 jersey? Was that an E design? I'm guessing Steph, but I, I can't confirm that. It's a guess. Thanks. Anything else, Monty or Anthony or? Coach Curry, it's Chris Iverson here. Any? Yep, we got you. Oh, okay. Um, with regards to Clay as well, being that they're so close to the finish line, how do you kind of protect him from himself? Because the line is closer than it's ever been as far as him getting back in action and wanting to be on the court. Yeah, I mean, Rick and his team are doing a great job just, uh, you know, bringing Clay back one step at a time. So um, he's doing more and more each day. He's doing uh, you know, both rehab in the weight room and the training room, but also uh, court work. He's doing a lot of movement, uh, you know, one-footed movements to, to continue to build the strength up. 
in the Achilles and the foot in general. Um, more and more shooting, ball handling, sliding. So, yeah, his next step will be to start start playing um, two on two, three on three, that kind of stuff, and and then we'll just continue to to wrap him up. We had uh, experience with this with Demarcus Cousins a few years ago. So, um, you know, there's there's definitely a very deliberate plan that involves uh, you know more and more work, but um, making sure we're not skipping any steps. Just how important is that having him, just his positive energy, you see him, you know, the jokes of the 77, just him being with you guys, uh, how important is that for the character? Yeah, it was great, it was great, you know, he went through all the non-contact stuff today in practice, and, you know, guys are just so excited to see him out there, we all are, so it's um, something that will carry us through this early, early part of the season, is the, you know, just the excitement of eventually getting Clay back. All right. Steve, the other night, uh, after Thursday night after the game, both you and Draymond made the same reference regarding the Jordan play. You guys both call it a learning experience. What are the things you want Jordan to take away from the game of the night and uh, the things that he needs to apply going forward? Just to slow down, but um, you know, I, he got a little out of sorts, I think, offensively. He was in a rush. Uh, they did a good job defensively being physical with him. Um, so it, it's just uh, a good, good game tape for him to have. Uh, good reminder that he's got to follow the old John Wooden adage: "Be quick, but don't hurry." It's um, it was especially true for him the other night. Um, I will say Jordan's defensive effort was fantastic the other night. He's really making every effort uh, to improve on that end. You know, we've talked to him as you guys know every single day, and he's really responding. So um, really proud of Jordan, happy with his efforts. And uh, as always, there's going to be ups and downs. Uh, whole key is just to keep keep going and, you know, uh, just move forward to the next game. Good, good yeah, practice. Was clear for practice. Did he practice today? Yeah, he did a lot of non-contact stuff. So it's good to see him back out there. So with uh, Kaminga, you're going to reevaluate him when? Uh, Friday. We'll reevaluate Friday and uh, see where we are then. But he's making good strides. And you got Lonnie, so we got another question? Sure. I know your, your hand was the, up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about it. The, um, you had the high turnovers in the first half of the first game. And I think Seth and Jordan combined for like 12 or 13 the other night. Um, is that again just early season stuff you're working through? Um, what, do you, what do you attribute that to? Uh, so, yeah, I thought uh, the Clippers did a really good job defensively. They deserve plenty of credit for uh, you know some of the turnovers, but uh, uh, there were also plays where we were out of position in terms of um, getting the ball out of traps, um, and then some of them came just with us being in a rush. So. Early in the season, you know, that felt like a playoff game. Um, that's a hell of a team. That's a team that went to the conference finals last year, uh, even without Kawhi. So um, it was a great test, and we passed the test and, and learned quite a bit along the way. So um, I'm, I'd be really disappointed if, if our turnovers weren't, uh, you know, much lower tomorrow. All right, I think that's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that. We're going to, the goal is to have Jonathan Kaminga and.